Hey ya! Hey ya! That's the last one. Wait, I sense something else. There, behind the tree. Hey, yeah. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't go startling people like that, especially at night. If it wasn't for this tree here, it would have cut your pretty head clean off. So, are you lost? I don't mind showing you the way back if you need me to. No? Then why are you here on a quest? That I can't help you with, but I can show you where to go. I'm quite familiar with the area here. You're not on a quest? Then why are you here? This area is too dangerous to be sightseeing. I suggest you head on back before you get hurt. Flowers? They are very beautiful, but what does that have to do with anything? I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You take me for a fool? Who put you up to this? Was it one of the other knights? Sheesh. I make one joke and they try to pull one on me. So, how much did they pay you? I'll double what they paid if you head back to town. You're doing this on your own? Then, that means you're the one messing with me. And here I was thinking you look like a kind-hearted man. Why would you do something so cruel? Stop saying that, and why aren't you afraid of me? Do you think I am too weak that I won't strike you down? Because I'm not that kind of person. Well, how would you know that? Huh. So you saw that, huh? Yes, I have helped the elders of her town with their firewood. And I'll admit, I've played games with the children when they would ask me to. <sighs> You're right. I wouldn't strike you for something as minor as this. But please, stop saying that you love me. I'm not that kind of woman that men find attractive. Why do I have trouble believing you? Isn't it obvious? Just look at me. Really, take a close look at me. Feel my hands? They're rough and calloused. They're not soft and gentle like the noble's daughters. My body's not curvy or soft. I have nothing but hard muscles all around me. And do you see the scar on my face? I have many more all over my body. All as a result of training and years of hunting monsters and fighting enemies. Why so many? Well, if you don't mind hearing my story, I'll tell you a bit about myself. My family's known for its line of renowned knights, and out of all my brothers, I was the only girl in the family. But my parents trained me all the same. While the other girls were having tea parties, I was out in the rain training. While they were shopping for dresses, I was choosing a weapon. While they had sleepovers, I was with my unit fighting dragons. In short, my upbringing was different than other girls, and as a result, both my personality and appearance are different. Do I have regrets? Absolutely not. I am very skilled wielding a sword. I have seen different lands and met different people. I have saved so many lives and helped so many people. I am considered one of the strongest in the kingdom. Ah, <sighs> But sometimes, I wish I was more like the other women of the kingdom. Every man I've approached is either intimidated by my strength or disgusted by my scars. Not even the other women want to be my friend because of how rough and tough I am. My only friends are the other knights in my unit, and even they only see me as a fellow knight. And there you go, saying those weird things to me again. Let me humor you a bit. What exactly do you see in me that's so appealing? Everything? My amazing sword skills? My kind personality? Even with my muscle and scars, you still find me beautiful? Ugh, I've had enough. I can't take any more of your compliments. <sighs> you see this cliff? If you can climb this and stand next to me, I will believe you. If this is too much, then turn around and forget you ever met me. What an interesting man. In all my travels, I've never met anyone like him. Although it's hard for me to believe what he's saying, I can tell from his eyes that he is being sincere. I've never been self-conscious about my looks. In fact, I've always been proud of what I achieved. But I had accepted that I would never find someone who accept me for who I am. Yet, there he is. Despite my unique qualities, here is someone telling me that they love me. Why is my chest beating so fast? In all my battles, in all my years fighting, I've always been able to stay calm and maintain my composure. Then, 
why am I so nervous? <sighs> I need to snap out of it. Besides, I'm sure the cliff here scared him off. It was tough even for me. He's probably halfway through the town by now. Wait, you're actually trying to climb up here? Are you that determined to ridicule me? Please stop. Go back home. Oh my, are you alright? That was a hard fall. Are you injured? Give me a moment. I'll be right there. No? Are, are you trying to climb again? Look at yourself! You're covered in dust and you're bleeding! I know what I said. Forget about that. If you fall again, you might get seriously hurt. Are you really doing all this? For me? Don't grab that rock! It's too loose! No! There you go. I got you. Am I okay? I should be asking you that. You could have gotten seriously hurt falling from that high. That's enough. You don't have to climb that cliff again. Well, I did say if you made it next to me, I believe you. And here I am next to you. I believe you. Will I go out with you? Gladly. But let me be clear. I am not like most women in the kingdom. So don't be surprised if I am a bit different. And I don't have any other clothes, so I'll be in my armor. That's all right? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I think that's enough adventuring for today. The day is almost over. We can head back together if you'd like. Can we hold hands? Even after seeing how rough they are, you don't mind? If you're okay with that. But I'm only agreeing because you were injured. Don't go thinking and let anyone hold my hand. But just for today, I think it is acceptable. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. <laughs>